Last year, a lot of millennials joined the housing market to invest. A recent survey shows that millennial millionaires stopped buying houses and cars. Why is that? Well, it's mostly because of the new inflation hike, which I'll be discussing today. So let me show you why exactly millennial millionaires are delaying their home and car purchases due to inflation. <laughs> My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multi-millionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences and to teach others how to become more successful as well. If you like the type of content I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with people who might find this video useful. Millennials are the fastest growing population of home buyers. The pandemic encouraged many to find larger space and created the ability for millennials to save and place that savings into an asset, the purchase of a home. So we decided to actually make an investment in coming up with unconventional ways to achieve home ownership. That millennials make up 37% of home buyers right now. I hate paying rent. I always wanted a place of my own. They want to have a sense of community. They want to be a part of the neighborhood. They want to be a part of something. Last year, when the interest rates and the mortgage rates were low, a lot of millennials joined the housing market thanks to low mortgages. They made a lot of money and the housing market boomed. In 2020, millennials were the largest share of home buyers at nearly 40%, and they were getting properties anywhere from 400,000 to 3 million. But now their mortgages have increased, which made them pause from buying more homes. In fact, they got so afraid that more than half of the millennials who invested in properties have stopped buying homes, especially since everyone is expecting another rate hike in July. This is an understandable move for investors during riskier times because they would rather want to save their wealth than to invest. Given that inflation changes, so how are these millennial millionaires changing their spending habits? Most of these people are in their 20s and early 30s. This means that they're more open to riskier investments and have more expensive lifestyles. For now, about 44% of them are backing away from any investments in the housing market or purchasing cars, or at least delaying their car purchases. Instead of spending, 44% of millennials have allocated their money in cash and in banks. Despite the inflation's negative impact on their investments and lifestyles, most millennial millionaires remain optimistic despite taking a break from spending. 55% of millennial millionaires believe that inflation will only last less than a year, and 90% are confident that the Fed can turn this around. This is a stark contrast to baby boomers. 38% of boomer millionaires believe that inflation rates will last more than two years and have a low trust in the rate when it comes down to the Fed. And rightfully so, they've seen these patterns before. So why does this matter for everyone? George Walpner, the president of Spectrum Group, the company that conducted the survey, believes that a lot of millennial millionaires experience inflation and possible recession for the first time in their life. He said that millennials are actually the key drivers of sales growth for both cars and houses. The sudden change in their spending behavior and their plans will greatly affect the prices of properties, which in turn will affect the economy. Since millennials are the key factors in the growing sales of the economy, if they stop buying houses, then that's a sign that the market will cool off and go down. People think that fewer buyers mean that prices may go lower, but the issue remains that the demand for the houses is still high and there's not enough supply. So home buyers will likely go down, but prices may remain high and that's bad for the economy because there won't be enough movement in the housing market. If no one can buy, then there's no money for anyone to circulate. But again, the good thing is that millennial millionaires are still optimistic and 70% of them believe that the market will be stronger by the end of 2022. Hey, so look, everyone looks at the housing market for a pulse on what's going on with the economy. And if only a small portion of the people are buying the property, it can still affect the greater market. The purchasing power of millennials is just as important as the generations that came before them. And so far, experts don't see any panic from the millennial millionaires, both millennials and boomers alike. And as of now, the millennials are making the right moves during inflation and the probable recession that's coming in the future. So if you wanna join the housing market, it's best to maybe step back a little bit and see what your goals are, just like some of these young millionaires and research the current climate of the housing market. You still might have a goal and you wanna buy and there might be still deals out there for you to take advantage of. I'm someone that survived a similar scenario back in 2008 and nine, and I can tell you it's going to be all right in the long run as long as you are careful 
you save up and you make the right investments, and if you avoid unnecessary expenses. Thank you for watching this video. And remember to hit the like and subscribe button, follow me on my social media, and if you wanna learn more about inflation, check this video out right here. Ways to invest your money in 2022, the best investments for inflation.